Hey guys, this is for James G on the NI boards. He was asking about uh, pitch bend on the SES1D. So uh, I wanted to give him an idea of how it works. So uh, you can see everything right now is kind of jacked up the way I have my desk. Uh, but the reason I've moved everything this way is so that you can see we have our deck playing here and I know that the camera's blurry but you can see right here are the pitch bend indicators which I'll light right now just to show you what's up. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here so that you can see me interacting with the deck and hopefully angle the thing so that you can see all the above. Um, you can see that when I drag my finger across here it's pretty snappy in terms of how quickly it lights if I well let's not block the camera here you can see that both pitch pins are going if I drag the platter or nudge the platter the problem isn't with the SCS-1D in this particular case uh, it's because Native Instruments took out the tempo bend message we can come over here and you can see our tempo bends mapped inside and I've got uh, one of them actually the decade tempo bend set up here just so I can show you you can open this and look at it in your own uh, application as well let me turn that down um, so you can see in the tempo bend message here that uh, the only type of controller available is a button so we're actually converting the CC message that the platter generates on a finger drag and turning it into a button. The the interaction mold uh, the interaction mode is either hold or output, uh, which makes sense. And the value is not uh, variable at all. It's either down or up. Um, so uh, there's really not a whole lot of of room to play around with this. Uh, this bend this message is really limited. It's not at all like the pitch bend message that used to be in the application. I know a lot of users, not just us, have uh, have really cried about uh, wanting the pitch bend getting implemented back into uh, Tractor. Uh, the message isn't like a logarithmic curve. It doesn't slow down the longer you hold it down. Um, it's 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 one setting. Um, again, you can try this in your own application, and you can see how it performs there. Um, but hopefully this will show you uh, uh, that the the platter, the hardware is doing the job that it's supposed to do. It's actually triggering the message. We're actually converting it to uh, to, to make Tractor see it. Um, in the next video, I'll do another video and show you the raw data coming off the platter and show you again that uh, the platter is very capable of pitch bending. Uh, it's just the software has to be able to take advantage.